Hello and welcome to Vidre Android channel and also welcome you to the series of video tutorials on MSP432 Launchpad using Simple Link SDK and CCS. So today in this tutorial I am going to show you how we can interface the Nokia 5110 a graphical LCD uh, using SPI protocol with MSP432. So let's get started. This is the connection diagram. So how the Nokia 5110 display is connected to the MSP432. So you can see here uh, we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 pin uh, uh, LCD it is. So the first pin is connected to the uh, re to the P6.4 which is a reset pin and the second pin is the uh, chip enable pin. So it is connected to the P4.6. Uh, the DC pin is connected to the P6.5. So the data in pin is connected to the P1.6 and the clock pin is connected to the P1.5. So I have uh, given the pin connections here. So and VCC should be connected to 3.3 and the black light should be connected to also 3.3. You can also connect the backlight to uh, one of the PWM channel to change the brightness. Okay. And so for now I have connected to 3.3 volts so that uh, backlight will be on by default and then ground should be connected to the ground. So this is how the uh, Nokia 5110 LCD should be connected to the MSP432 using a SPI protocol. So let's get started with the code. Now go and open the CCS. We'll go to the CCS here. So we are going to use the, the last project that is the MPU6050. So copy this project and then paste it here and then rename it as Nokia 5110 underscore LCD. Okay, copy this. So now we don't need this MP6050. So close this project. So now expand the Nokia 5110 LCD. So here we would like to change this file to let's say so Nokia 5110 underscore main thread. Okay. In dot c file and then so we are going to rename this as a Nokia 5110. Okay, now go and open the sysconfig file to configure this file protocol to communicate with the Nokia 5110. So once the sysconfig file is open, so so we don't need this I2C. So click on this remove all, and of course let it be displayed. Okay, and then now we want to enable this pipe. So click on this pipe, and then click on add, so that it will add the uh, spy instance. So the, the name of the spy instance is config underscore spy underscore zero, and the mode that we are going to use the three pin mode. So which will be used for uh, clock data in and data out pins and then so the default transmit buffer value make it as a default okay and then here if you can expand the pin marks configuration and you will able to find out the, these three pins that is the clock pin uh, MISO pin and the MOSA pin so of course we are not going to use any DMA channel so let it be for the default configuration and apart from this uh, if you can see here in the a connection diagram we need to declare three more pins so that is the reset pin and CE pin and the DC pin so the CE pin we can also uh, control with the GPIO also we can also communicate with the existing spy so in this configuration I am only showing uh, the chip center pin is uh, controlling with the, one of the GPIO pin of the MSP432 mm -hmm. so now go and declare the these three uh, pins as a GPIO outputs so now again open the code composer studio okay again go to the gpio here and we don't need any uh, blue led so remove this now add an instance and then oh, this is a config underscore gpi underscore let's take it as a reset pin okay and then we want to use them as a output mode and the pin that we want to assign it as a so the reset pin is P6.4 
So now expand this pin mark configuration. So this is P6.4. Okay. And then we need to add one more. So this is CS RCE pin, whatever it is. Okay. This is CS pin, RCE pin, okay. Sip chalak or chip enable pin, you can call anyway. So, and the mode that we want to use it as an output mode. And similarly, if you go here, so this chip select or the chip enable, the pin is P4.6. So, go here and select as a P4.6. And then we add one more instance and this one is the dc underscore pin okay and the pin number is p6.5 okay it is a output mode and then we want to see what's the pin number p6.5 Okay, so that's all for the configuration. Now save the code. Now uh, go to uh, the Nokia 5110 main underscore thread dot C. Here we have an existing code, so we don't need I2C here. Okay, and of course we don't need this I2C parameter configuration. Instead, we want to use as a spy configuration. So we don't need this. Delete all. And of course, we don't need this, this, and this, and of course, this. And let it be the use sleep uh, delay function. And of course, we don't need this. Okay. Now, save the code. Now, you know that uh, to see the changes in the configuration, so we need to compile the project. So, click on the project and then click on the hammer icon to compile the project. So now we can see that the build is compiled successfully. Okay, now go to the Nokia 5110 main underscore thread.c file here and as you know, so we want to include the spy driver. So it's a ti slash so driver slash spy. Okay, spy.h and then here uh, we need to declare the spy params first spy underscore params okay and uh, give it as a lcd params okay and similarly we need to declare the handle and this is a lcd handle and similarly we need to declare the spy transaction or transfer the data from the MSV 432 to the LCD. So for that we need to declare a transaction and name it as LCD transaction and initialize to <coughs> 0 by default. Now uh, under the driver initializations, okay, here you need to call this pi underscore INIT. Okay, so this will initialize the spy, and then here uh, we need to initialize the spy params. So for that, uh, we need to call the API. So the API is so the API is SPA underscore params. And the first param and the parameter that we need to pass here is the LCD params. Okay. And then so we need to take this LCD params and we want to uh, declare some uh, some of the uh, elements of the uh, the LCD params. So the first one is the bit rate. Now bitrate is nothing but the maximum frequency of operation in which the, uh, the Nokia 5110 LCD operates. So to know the uh, the maximum frequency of operation it supports, now go and open the data sheet. So I will provide the link in the description so that you can also download the data sheet. And then here if you go to the AC characteristics, okay, and if you zoom it little bit, okay, and here you can able to see the FS clock, okay, the clock frequency, and here you can see this is the maximum frequency. 
that is 4 megahertz so you should not declare the uh, baud rate more than the 4 megahertz so if you declare that uh, more than the 4 megahertz then uh, the lcd may get damaged so this is a 4 megahertz okay and then we need to declare uh, some more parameters here and the data size uh, we want to have a 8 bits okay and then similarly we want to use the transfer mode which transfer mode we want to use so for that we using spy mode blocking okay we are going to use the spy in the blocking mode and then finally so we are going to open the spy connection so it will return a handle and the function name is spy underscore open okay and the first one is the index index is nothing but the name so spy it is config spy 0 and the, it also needs the lcd parents So you can also check the uh, LCD handle uh, for example, so if this LCD handle uh, returns a null, okay, that means the spy connection is not open. So then we will go in the while loop, infinite while loop. Okay. So if the uh, uh, execution comes here, that means uh, the spy, uh, spy connection is not properly open. So we need to check, double check that, okay. So it's a uh, error checking, okay. Now save the code. So now we have also initialized the spy parameters. So to communicate with the Nokia 5110 and display something uh, onto the uh, LCD, like text and numbers and some uh, triangles or lines. So so I have developed the Nokia 5110 uh, library based on the uh, Adafruit libraries, Arduino Adafruit libraries. So I will also provide this in the, uh, on the GitHub repository. You can go ahead and download and you can include in the project. So I will copy these two files. One is the header file and the .c file. Now go to the uh, project and click on here and paste it here. So once these two files are copied here, now go to the top and here include the so Nokia 5110.h file. Okay. So now save the code and then so if you open the Nokia 5110.c, so here uh, as I said, this is the original adapter libraries for the uh, Arduino. So I have modified this. Okay. And then if you can see here, okay, I have included the Nokia 5110 as well as the TA uh, drivers. And then if you scroll down in the outline, you will be able to see some functions called so Nokia 5110 initialization. So he, here I have written uh, the first um, to communicate with the Nokia 5110 LCD. So the reset pin must go to zero. After some delay, we should be uh, enable it to high. And then uh, this is the command how we are sending uh, the command to the uh, Nokia 5110 LCD. And this is the data function. And uh, this is the main function where uh, actually the data has been sent to the, the Nokia 5110 from the MSV 432 using a spy protocol. Here you can see that. So here the LCD transaction count equals to one because we are only sending the one byte and the transmitted buffer is the spy data this one and that data i am sending it to the lcd okay and if the spy transfer is is not okay that means false then we are going to the uh, uh, the while loop okay infinite while loop where it says is there is an error with the spy transfer okay so that's all for the code so we need to call a couple of functions okay so which will be used to uh, display some uh, lines and the text and the numbers onto the LCD. So now go to the main thread .c file. Okay. And here, uh, before the while loop, okay, here, call the function Nokia 5110 underscore initialization. So which will initialize the Nokia 5110 LCD. 
and then call the clear display it will clear the display and then call the LCD demo okay uh, of course uh, we don't need any delay here okay let it be and if you go to the LCD demo so to go to the LCD demo function okay press the control and then click on the function okay and then here you can see I have used this head rotation to two and then here I'm drawing some pixels and uh, as well as they draw lines draw rectangles Okay, draw, test the fill rectangle something like this okay and we are displaying some numbers and finally I am displaying some text okay so uh, at the end you need to call a function called uh, display so which will refresh the uh, data onto the LCD okay so that's all about the functions you can explore the all the functions how it will be look like okay so the main functions were uh, LCD Nokia 5110 LCD initialization and the command and data as well as the spy write functions okay so now save the code and then click on the project and click on the hammer icon to compile the project so now you can see that uh, the code is compiled uh, successfully uh, without errors and but there are some warnings uh, we can ignore these warnings so one is the ERT handle was not uh, used that is true because we are not using the the virtual comfort of the MS 432 and there are some qualifier unwritten type is meaningless okay that's not a problem okay now uh, connect the LCD as shown in this diagram okay and then now click on the debug icon to launch the debug prospect so click on cancel here now once the debug prospect is open so click on this uh, resume button to upload the code onto the MSV432 so once the code is uploaded onto the MSP432, you will be able to see a demo onto the, the Nokia 5110 LCD. So that's all for this tutorial. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching it.